oh my god, Sabrina is OCD. It's just that I like keeping myself clean. Sabrina, how is it possible that you're doing so much of housework, washing toilet, and doing everything but your hand is so soft? I don't know, something about Singaporeans and deodorant. I mean like, please guys, take care of your body, please. Umpets. Oh, please. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. This is the first video of 2020 and I actually wanted to do something very different which I've never done on my channel before. So I'm actually going to show you guys what is in my bag. Which a lot of my friends has commented that you know I have a lot of things inside my bag. No one would normally actually carry but... I kind of actually think that a lot of you guys actually out there will carry all these things. So I want to share this video with you guys and leave comments down below and let me know if you guys actually carry this stuff inside your bag or am I the one weirdo that carries all this shit inside my bag. This is my bag right here. This is a guest bag which I bought last year. 2018 till now, 19, going on to 20, it didn't even rip on me. The colour didn't change. I absolutely love it. So first thing out of the bag, I got the same design for my bag and for my wallet as I was purchasing it. I got this wallet, the guest, it's also guest wallet. But inside my wallet, I always like to carry a bunch of plasters because I am super prone to injuries. You have no idea how prone of in to injuries I am. And then I have also have a, a picture of my late dad. Always carry him around with me in my wallet. I got this note and I've never used it. I got this note five years ago, as you can see. And I still have that dollar note inside my wallet. It's amazing. It's a one dollar US note, which I do not even know when I'm ever going to go to the United States of America. But my mom went and um, she got this dollar note and she gave it to me. Okay, besides that, coins, money. I'm not gonna show you guys how much money I have. Hmm. So inside my bag, I have three pockets. So I'm picking up from this pocket, then I'll go to the center, and then this. I take out my handphone earpiece, okay, moving aside. Pulling out my handphone, of course, and then I have my JBL wireless, wireless earbuds, headphones. I have this inside my bag, and then I do have Dun, dun, dun. Wet wipes. I never leave the house without wet wipes. I do have my Easling card. And then I do have this one. Which are not a lot of people carry this. But I do I carry this carry-on sewing kit. So I have the threads right here. I have the needles, buttons, scissors and everything. Because trust me guys, this has helped me so much. I've gone out like three times. And my button has like came apart. My Literally my tights tore right at the center of my thighs and that really helped me to actually like sew it up so I always carry the sewing kit with me I do have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works this is a lemon with essential oils antibacterial hand gel the next I carry is the Bath and Body Works hand cream I always go between different different hand creams but this is the hand cream that I'm actually using right now in 2020 for me why I love hand cream is because I have nails because I do housework I wash toilet I do cooking I do laundry I do everything so my hand tends to get dry I do not like my hands to be dry at all I always like my hand to be moisturized and even recently I got a lot of comments from a lot of loved ones that they asked me this one question Sabrina, how is it possible that you're doing so much of housework, washing toilet and doing everything but your hand is so soft? Trust me guys, hand cream. Hand cream does the trick. Next I have in my bag is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Roll Ball Perfume. So when I go to work, I do not like pour a whole bottle of perfume on my body and go to work. I just put deodorant and just the Victoria's Secret body mist on myself and that's it. And sometimes the body mist can wear out towards like 7 to 8 hours. I don't become smelly though. I don't want to be smelling plain. There's a difference of smelling smelly and smelling plain. Moving on, I do have breath mints. I always love these breath mints. This is the Fisherman's Friend in um, Flavor Lemon. This is my favorite one of all. This side of the pouch is done. Alright, so I'm going to open up this center one right now and show you guys. I have three bags. First bag, pulling out the smallest one. But inside this bag is all my mini version of lipsticks. No joke. 
all mini versions of this. So the one thing you are never gonna hear me say today in the video is makeup pouch. I never carry a makeup pouch. When I do my makeup at home, I make sure it lasts the entire day. The only touch up I carry around is lipsticks. Because you eat, you drink, you do funky stuff, lipstick just goes up. The second bag is all about essentials. First I'm gonna pull out is XOR. Next one, toothpicks in case like food gets stuck inside my teeth and you know sometimes when you eat food like mutton or whatever because we're Indian so <laughs> when that happens I don't go ahead and use my fingernails or whatever you guys use or straws or whatsoever I go ahead and keep um, toothpicks, flosses just to get the food out when you know there's food stuck inside your mouth and you're going out the whole day don't you think your breath will become a little bit stanky? Of course, a mirror. Carry a mirror wherever I go. I carry a comb if I need to, um, like... I do have gauze. Gauze is because of injuries. You're bleeding, put the gauze on, clear it. I do have Panadol, scissors. I do have a filer because I have nails. I have a nail filer, I have a nail clipper and a tweezer. The next one is I do have a fan uh, on days when I'm actually like taking baths and I have uh, like a full face of makeup every day I actually use this to keep myself cool. So I have a miniature fan in here. You guys are wondering, damn girl you have a lot. I know I do, I do. I'm, I'm a very different person. Okay so the next pouch. First thing out of the pouch is sanitary pad. Sanitary pad I'll only put inside this pouch when I'm coming close to my period. Time. Sometimes you do not know when you're actually going to boom. I carry feminine wipes. <laughs> I know I carry wet wipes, but I carry feminine wipes as well. I actually got this from the Watson's brand. This is actually pretty good. It's always a precaution for me. I always carry this feminine wash. This is the Multi Benefit Daily Balance pH Feminine Wash, and this is from Eve. And this is a mini bottle. So I just put it in my pouch. We are adults right here in this conversation. We don't need to be shy about things. <laughs> Moving on to the third part of my bag. Okay, so first thing always I carry is a scarf. Because I would never know where I'm going to go in the day. So I always carry a scarf with me to always keep myself warm. And so in this compartment, there is a zipper compartment which I'm going to open it up right now. A pen. In case if you are going anywhere and no one wants to actually give you a pen. So basically we're done. I do not use this compartment in front of my bag because if I'm going to do it, this part is actually going to bulge out and I don't want to actually spoil it. But we do have an extra compartment right here, let's say to put handphone or whatsoever. Please don't let me be the weirdest one here and sharing all my weird things. Please comment down below and let me know whether you guys actually carry this. And so I really want to thank you guys for watching this crazy first 2020 video which I've never ever done in my entire YouTube history of showing you guys what is inside my bag because I've always been afraid of what people will like judge me and tell me like shit. But you know what, 2020, I don't give a shit anymore. So thank you all so much for watching this video. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.